I was first introduced to Hasselblad by a friend of mine who's a portrait photographer. He was showing me uh, some photos that he'd taken and it was the first time I'd seen square photos. And I was just amazed by the composition and the quality of the lens and in addition to the quality of images that he was making. So I started diving into the history of the brand and realized that Hasselblad was the first camera that they took on the moon. So I figured if the camera's good enough to be taken to the moon for the first time, it's good enough for me to take on surf trips. As a photographer, I'm always trying to find a new way to push the limits of my craft. Whether it's going to new places or using new equipment, and being one of the first to use the Hasselblad X1D2 in the water with Aquatech reflex housing got me excited. It's like finding a way for the first time. It's a new challenge, but with that comes the thrill of capturing something in a way that might not have been captured like that in the first place. It's new, it's refreshing, it's exciting, it's challenging, and it's part of the reason why I love photography because it's constantly evolving. One of the other things that I love about the Hasselblad is some of my favorite photographers are all Hasselblad masters. So I've been a big fan of the Hasselblad masters program since I originally heard about it. I'm constantly looking at the work of those photographers for inspiration. I aspire to be like that one day. I feel like the Hasselblad masters are some of the, the greatest photographers of all time. When you're studying photography and learning the history of photography, you can look at the work of theirs as, as inspiration and something to aspire to. The first moment I saw the Hasselblad X1D2, it reminded me of the first time that I saw the first 500C, which was super clean lines, beautiful glass, easy to use, easy to hold, it just felt right. I feel like a Hasselblad is a photographer's camera. It's a camera made for photographers to produce the highest quality work of the most interesting subjects and also some of the most interesting places. Being a traveling surf photographer, I've been exposed to a lot of amazing places, but I always go back to the initial portrait work that I saw that first intrigued me with the Hasselblad and try to apply those lessons to the work that I do now. Taking my Hasselblad portrait work into the water with the reflex housing and forcing myself to slow down in what can be a chaotic space is something that I look forward to. Slowing down makes for more long-standing images.